a note on Fanny and Alexander. First, we look at the flowers and the water lily. Only open today, at the end of May. Bamboo, roses, and clematis. This is a new note. I had one before, at least one, on Fanny and Alexander, Ingmar Bergman, uh, one of the best films I know. In fact, when I've seen it uh, some years ago, I thought this is the best I've seen. It had such a such an impact. And um, this time. into a play. It's interesting and laudable, this um, BBC initiative of <laughs> transforming everything possible into a play. I mean, they, they have uh, major works. Uh, uh, the Heart of the Matter comes to mind now. Uh, secret Agent and so on. Uh, into, into plays. And that's, that's excellent. Because it gives you, first of all, an opportunity to meet again with the Shed Dobra. Uh, and then the alternative when there is something, in my case, I'm speaking for myself now, uh, and well, all the time, not just now. Um, it, it happens also that there's, there's something, let's say, Gargantuan Pantagrel, which I don't like. Uh, but then if it's given to me in a small dose, I can take it. I, I can't go to the trouble of going hours and hours of, of excess, of, of uh, regurgitating of potty humor. I, I, others appreciate it. It's included on the list of best 100, best 100 books ever written. As a masterpiece, as compiled, uh, one of the best 100 books ever uh, written, compiled by the Norwegian Book Club. Uh, coming back to Funny and Alexander, uh, it is the story we know from the film, uh, the masterpiece, and as the title plainly puts it, we have the story of Fanny and Alexander, two children. Their father died. Eckhart family. Eckdal, I'm sorry, not Eckhart. Eckdal. Uh, and um, the, the mother remarries. But she, even if she is uh, enticed um, and um, enchanted by a man of the church, uh, instead of being the representative uh, symbol uh, of good, God's messenger on earth, after all, even if we're not talking Catholic faith, over there the relationship with God goes through the priest in Protestant denominations, it's different, of course, the role of the, of the priest, of the father is much diminished. Uh, still, this should be a man who should act better, you should be compassionate, understanding, peaceful, good, generous, he's the opposite, he's a monster, actually. Uh, his previous family died, I mean, he has uh, a sister and a few women living with him in the uh, bishop's palace, but um, uh, the wife and two children die and it's a horrible story that we learn in the first part uh, how they had to use a saw to cut 
one hand because they were so uh, uh, they died and they they were holding each other tightly and it seems he was cruel and tortured and tortured them as well and in order to escape they just uh, had no alternative but to jump into the river from a window and they died and their mother trying to to save them with them with the children so um, this is a very cool man as I said a master actually and um, Fanny and Alexander are exposed to his um, wrath and cruelty he gets to punish the poor boy Alexander and his sister but there is some hope. Isaac may come to the rescue. Of course, I'm not saying what happens and I stop here.